Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. Here we're going to talk about the Freestyle Light Control Solution, talk a little bit about when you use it and what it's for, and then I'll demonstrate how to use it. So why, why use Control Solution? Uh, there are a few reasons you could use it to practice your technique without having to use blood. You want to ensure your meter and test strips are working properly, or if you're getting results that you're unsure of. A little bit more about control solution. The freestyle control solution is a red liquid that contains a known amount of glucose. We know what that reading should come in as. It's um, You want to be certain to use the one appropriate for your type of meter. Freestyle does make different control solutions. Ensure this one is appropriate for your glucose meter. Always keep the cap securely closed when not in use. You don't want to dilute the control solution. And there are three levels available low, normal, and high. In the following demonstration, I will use the normal control solution. Okay, let's perform a control test. To do that, of course, you'll need the meter, control solution, as well as test strips. This is normal control solution. It contained two vials of normal control solution. You wanna be certain that your meter is listed on here. This is freestyle light meter, so this one, uh, control solution is compatible with this meter. Freestyle does produce different control solutions for different meters. So just check the fine print to make sure your meter is listed on there. And then your test strips have the control ranges printed on them. It has low, normal, and high. We have normal control solution. So the range should, between, should be between 76 and 114 when we test it. To do that, you'll put a test strip into the meter. Wait for it to prompt for a drop of blood. And then you take your control solution it like you would blood until it indicates that the solution has been applied. So that's 100. And we want to press and hold the configure button so the meter knows that this is a control test. And there's a little control vial that shows up. That way it doesn't get included in your history of blood glucose reading. So 100, of course, is in between that range of 76 to 116. That's printed on our vial of test strips so that tests good now do remember you want to check the expiration date on your control solution as well as note when you opened it as it should be discarded three months from when you first opened that uh, i hope you found this information useful if you would please like this video and subscribe to my channel thanks so much for watching